So this is what we usually use when we're doing meditation <coughs> or when we're doing a blessing or clearing. So this is what it, one of them looks like. I'm going to show you what I have here. So essentially, it's quite simple. It's a red cloth, and then on it, usually we have the special mantra or mudra written on it for empowering, or for this one mainly, these two are for releasing negative energies and for empowering. So we have this, and it will be worn right over our third eye, tied behind our head. So this is one way. Some people, when they meditate, this tightness around the forehead is uncomfortable to them. So the, the rope may be about, I would say, the thickness of like a piece of yarn up to a um, cord, a thick cord, or a, a thickness of a telephone cord. That is fine to put around you as well. Okay. I want to share something very um, interesting to you. For those of you, my father has always emphasized that you must trust in the process. You must trust in that you are connected to God. And if you want to believe in that, that will help you and infuse you with the energy and not have any doubt. When you have any doubt of this process, it, the effects of it are going to be very limited. But uh, for those of you who are very scientific and want proof, <laughs> I encourage you to get this book. It is called The True Power of Water by Masaru Emoto. Have you heard of this? Yes. How many of you have read it? So you know. This one, he has gone to the details of taking yeah. pictures of water crystals. Yes. And you know we are all water. 75% of us is water. Yes. Our brain, our mind, every organ is completely water. And it's, he's already shown that when you send positive messages to the water, and when they film the crystals that are formed, the differences are stunning. Mm -hmm. When you tell a piece of the water that you hate them, or you call it a fool, it forms no crystal. When you tell it thank you, it has an incredible and beautiful crystal that's formed. Beautiful crystals that deformed. And they played music, and they filmed this on time-lapse photography, so how the crystals will actually form. If you go to YouTube, type in Water Crystals by Himoto, you can see it in real time as it's playing different music. So there is no doubt. There should be, there's so much scientific research now done for those people who doubt that you do, your mind power creates a frequency, an invisible frequency that has real effects. So when you send the positive energy out, you get the positive things. When you send negative energy out, you get the very negative effects. They managed to purify lakes, rivers, ponds this way that were not able to be cleaned. They've released people with cancer this way. So it's a very powerful meditation, very powerful. Your mind and your intentions. Okay. Transformational meditation. This is an advanced phase of mind power and development. External chi adjustment. I want to emphasize that this is an advanced practice. So in other words, unless you have a very sound and strong practice in the tranquility and the healing meditation, the advanced transformational meditation, you will not have a very strong ability in it. That's usually we leave this type of the meditation for the masters to do with you or for you and let you practice until you get that level that you can do it for yourself. But it is a live practice. So transformational meditation is active and deep level of meditation. It allows you to change your life karma, your life energies, and improve your life. It encompasses many different techniques. Mantra chanting, mudra poses, mantra charm tracing, meditating with chi art, all of which we're going to demonstrate today. And we want to vis very, very, very much emphasize that the results that you get will depend on your level. If today I ask you to break a board with your bare hands, you will get hurt. If we try to let you do some very advanced levels when you are not ready, you might feel no result or get hurt or frustrated. So it's important to build a foundation and realize that that's what you need before you get there. That's why I introduced the other two forms. Originally, we were only going to talk about transformational meditation. Transformational meditation. When you have reached, so how do you know you are ready for this part? So I'll tell you. 
When you have reached advanced level of meditation, you will see a bright, steady light in your mind's eye and upper dantian. So in your, your whole brain infuses light energy. Your third eye, you see a bright light. When you are just in the healing or even tranquility meditation, you see the light forms and they're moving. They shift in and out. It's not constant. When you get to this level, it is very bright and very constant. Um, only when you're meditating or all the time? Both. When you're meditating, stronger. When you're not meditating, it is still there. You can access it almost at any time. Okay. So it's a very advanced. How long will it take us? <laughs> Wait, that will tell you next slide. How long will it take you? So the nine channels, we call there's nine points on top of our head and relates to the nine different dimensions of heaven. Those nine channels of heaven are open and you will start to be able to see into other dimensions. So those light forms at the earlier stages are very, how should I say, um, free form. You might not know what they are, you just see light forms. At this stage, they become crystal clear. You know exactly what you see. So for me, I've seen actual deities come down. I've seen different ones dance around me. It's very clear. And in my dream, I see different guardians. It's completely clear to you. you don't, there's not, it's no longer uh, just a blurry form. So I try to use a metaphor of, it's like a tuner on a radio. In the beginning, if your tuner is weak, you just get some music, parts of it. You know you're getting some of it, but not all of it. It's still a lot of static. But as you get stronger and stronger, your tuner, your radio, your uh, satellite dish, or your, your antenna becomes stronger, you receive a clearer and clearer and clearer. As you tune it more, you start to hear, start to see. And I'm sorry? It works both ways. You can just receive them, they'll come and tell you things. At the same time, you can tell them what you want. So it works both ways now. It's a clear, open. In the beginning, you might find it's only one way. They will tell you things, but you might not necessarily know what they're telling you, and you might not be able to tell them what you need from them. Okay. So some of the things you can start changing, release the negative energies, anything that's very suffering in your life. Perhaps you have a very, very negative or heavy karma. You have a lot of debt to pay in this lifetime, and you want to release that. You can do that on a higher level. You return that debt on a higher dimension to release those debts so that in this lifetime, they don't bother you, and you can move, be more progressive. If you do not know how to do that, in this lifetime you still have to pay those debts and suffer. So releases conflicts, money loss, bad relationships, etc. And you can channel positive energies to attract well love. Let's say you don't have negative karma, but instead you have very good karma, and your meditation practice can reach a high level very quickly. You can use those, receive the messages that can help inspire you. So for instance, my father uses his meditation to see the visions for all the chi art that he creates to help people. So instead of releasing his misery, he's actually using the positive energy he has to help more people. And that's ultimately where everyone we hope can be at. So one, the first part of the transformational meditation is creative visualization. I'm sure most of you have heard of this one but we can talk about it until you do it. Just like when we ask you to meditate on the healing meditation, to visualize the energy being drawn through all the vital points, some people find that extremely difficult to do. And now we're asking you to do an even deeper level. So you want to use your imagination. Albert Einstein emphasized that how true intelligence is how imaginative you can be. So use your imagination to create your mind, in your mind, exactly what you want in detail. So for the healing, my father explained to you the visualizations you need to have, the communication, the messages you need to send to different parts of your body. Now we're going to take it to not just internally, but externally.